welcome back to the voice of diabetes this is diana bitucci and today i am going to talk about something that i get so many phone calls on on a regular basis patients call me and say diana my sugar is 350 i don't know how to get it down fast i need to do something about this before it goes higher so it's a, actually a very common phone call um so i figured that hey let me make a video because i'm sure that if my patients are complaining about similar these type of scenarios let me share what I tell all of my patients to do. So it doesn't matter what the reason is. Sometimes maybe you under bolus if you are on insulin, uh, 40 grams of carbohydrates for the meal, but in fact it was 50 grams. Maybe you're only on metformin, but for some reason you really indulged and it's okay. We all do that once in a while. It's okay to have fun in moderation and infrequently, of course. We don't want to overindulge all the time, but we know it happens. It's life. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to bring down your blood sugars quickly. Typical phone call, patient's blood sugar is 350 and they want to know what to do. If that patient is on insulin, such as Novolog, Humalog, or the newer insulins, Fias, Lumjab is actually a newer one and it's more rapid, which I'm going to have a video on. Normally I'll tell the patient, hey, if you have those on hand, take a few units. If you have a sliding scale that I have you follow, follow the sliding scale as a correction dose. So that usually helps take care of it. And then I tell the patient to check their blood sugars in one hour. And usually I'll have them check more frequently for the remaining of the time until their blood sugars are under better control, which usually will take about one to two hours to bring down with the use of those medications. Let's just say you're that patient, you're like, what is she talking about? I have no idea what Humalog or Novolog or any of those are. You're just taking metformin, maybe another medication like Genuvia or whatever it is that you may be taking. Well, those medications, taking an extra dose of that is not gonna work because what's happening is it, those medications don't work quickly enough to bring your blood sugars down within one to two hours. So what I'll tell patients to do is listen, make sure you're staying well hydrated, drink a lot of water and go for a nice walk. Just a regular walk, not running and not running on the treadmill uh, because what will happen is actually when we exercise, when we do very intensive workout, our blood sugars go up because of the adrenaline rush that we get, but that's a whole different thing. Um, obviously, that's what, we, that's what we expect. I actually wore the CGMs, the continuous glucose monitors myself, and I go to the gym regularly, as I've mentioned in previous videos, and my sugars were um, a lot higher than they normally are. However, please note that for the remaining of the 24 hour period, my sugars were, were lower. So yes, I saw that spike initially because I was running, I was doing a lot of cardio, but for the remaining of the day, my sugars were much better. So your blood sugar is down quickly. I normally recommend go for a nice little walk, make sure you're drinking enough water and test your blood sugars frequently. However, if you develop nausea, you're vomiting, something doesn't feel right, or if you are testing ketones, if you have ketone strips and they're moderate or high, you need to call your physician or go to the emergency room right away because at that point, it's already too late uh, for us to correct it with just uh, a walk and uh, hydration. But other than that, if you are in the 300 range and you're wondering how to bring down that blood sugar, please hydration, go for a nice walk wherever you are, even if it's raining or snowing, you can do a, just a walk back and forth in the house for maybe 20 minutes to half hour and then check your blood sugars very frequently until the blood sugars are going down into a normal range that you're comfortable with. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment below and share your thoughts about times that maybe you've had a high blood sugar and ways that you got to reduce it without having to go to the doctors. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. I'll see you all next time.